And look at the goodness. Look at those bell peppers. Best ones I've had in ages, man. Best ones. It's all edible, you know. Don't be scared. What an amazing machine. Check out Amazon, eBay, whatever, online. Get your hands on one. Look at that. Peddling Raw, you're so amazing. Come round my house and cook for me. Yeah, you are amazing. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at all this goodness. Sun-dried tomatoes. Avocado. Oh, yeah. You're spoiling it. I know. I said cook. But I can do raw too, man. Yes, I did eat some of these sun-dried tomatoes. Damn right. Just with the fire in the kitchen, yo. I don't know if that's good or not. You may or may not be able to see that. So tonight I've gone and made some spiroli courgette, zucchini. I was going to do a cucumber as well, but this is kind of enough. It's all raw, right? The whole lot's raw, apart from the mushrooms, which are lightly boiled. So that's quite a step for me, really. I've had this before, but I've just suddenly got a taste for it. I'm going to blind myself with the light now. Hold up, I'm going to turn that off. Right, that's better. So yeah, I kind of got like a... My mouth was watering for this meal tonight, so that's what I went and got. And I bought the sun-dried tomatoes a few weeks ago in the organic shop. So they were sat there waiting, just waiting to be used. And they make a really good sauce with the, you know, your Bogo standard cherry tomatoes. You see me just put them in the blender. That's all I've done. Avocado, just to cream it up a bit. Again, I'm feeling the avocado tonight. I have ate this kind of meal, I said before, and uh, it's all about the sauce, really. If the sauce isn't good, then you kind of like... You'll eat it and you want something else afterwards. So I'm thinking like if the sauce is kind of rich and creamy like it is and tasty, then you know, it's going to be satisfying and then I shan't want anything else. But if I do, a little bowl of rice or something afterwards isn't going to hurt. Keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. So yeah. Hey, but you weren't expecting this, were you? I've been doing a lot of rice and potatoes, all this hummus lately. Try to get the fat down. Get the fat down, see? So you're just rolling with that. Got some grapes for tomorrow, so I hope you like the recipe. Maybe me, uh, make it yourself. I have done a spiroli video. I'll put a little link down below. Leave me a comment if you like this sort of thing. Do you like spiroli pasta, raw pasta? Yeah, no. I do like the um, occasional like real deal pasta myself. I kind of went through a stage where it's just rice and potatoes and pasta. Kind of made me feel like it just made me feel stodgy and it didn't sit well, didn't digest well, and then month or so ago I started eating pasta again felt okay but it's not like I'm not a massive mega pasta fan take it or leave it sooner I have potatoes and rice maybe more of this let's see how we go hey may have another bowl of this in a couple of days go with your taste buds just roll with that ciao real cycling real food for real cyclists That's the noise of the death beetle. You don't want to stop beside the road for too long because um go for your ankles. Crawl up your trouser leg or something. Pretty much instant death. Here we have death beetle in the house. Ancient little critter. He won't hurt you. Just uh, keep your distance. Everything could be fine. There you go. That's it my little fella.